object oriented programming concepts in short it can be called oops concepts hi this is kamal priya and i am here to share my knowledge and understanding about oops concepts this is going to be a series of videos in which each and every oops feature is going to be explained in detail in every video these videos i have done from a conceptual point of view so as far as possible i am not going to stick on to any particular oops language until and otherwise needed and these videos i have done in a very preliminary level so that mainly beginners can be benefited out of it so friends with no further delay let's get started so what is oops oops is actually nothing but an approach to view any real world concept or an application in the form of an object so oops is a paradigm or programming paradigm or a strategy or a programming methodology in which a real world concept can be modeled as an object okay so if we take in the real world these are all say for example this tv or a puppy or a human or a fan these are all some of the physically existing entities right so now comes the question like what is the so called object in a programming world be or how in a programming world an object can be modeled so if we take the example say if we want to re, uh, model this real world concept say human in a programming world say for example for a banking application so this human can be modeled as a bank customer in which case that bank customer object will be having a customer bank customer oriented attributes related attributes and the related functionalities right or this human can be modeled as a bank employee right in which case that bank employee object will be having um, bank employee related attributes and the functionalities so apart from this uh, human say for example if we want to model any gadget like fan so an aircraft control system say for example in an aircraft control system an engine can be modeled as an object so these are all some of the uh, examples say this bank customer this bank employee this engine these are all some of the programming uh, examples in which a real con real world concept can be modeled as an object okay so some uh, oops languages are c++ java python small talk etc so as i said earlier there are some basic building blocks which are called as basic features of oops and in every video in one each and every video i'll be taking up one feature of this oops and i'll be explaining what that feature is about and how that feature can be implemented so mostly this uh, how part implementation i'll be explaining in a generic way sometimes if needed with the help of c++ or java i'll be explaining how that basic feature can be implemented okay lastly i'll be explaining where i mean which are all the applications which are modeled using that particular feature um only if we know where the particular feature is uh, made use of we will be able to appreciate its real use right so that we can get an idea like okay in such and such kind of applications i can make use of or exploit this particular feature of oops so let me better go and uh, model my project in uh, oops paradigm like that we will get an idea right so last part of the video will be discussing which applications are using or exploiting making use of that particular basic feature of oops which are all the so far existing applications some applications okay so uh, each and every video is going to uh, propagate in such a way that the flow will be like first i'll be explaining what that feature is about second i'll be explaining how it is implemented and third i'll be explaining which are all the uh, applications which are designed based on that particular feature of oops okay so what are all the basic oops features 
First feature is class and object. This is the very basic feature of OOPS which describes the process of object creation. Class is actually a plan of how our object should look like. An object is constructed based on this plan. Just like how a house is built based on its blueprint, an object is also constructed based on the framework given by class. The second feature is encapsulation. Encapsulation is a concept which tells that an object is nothing but a package. Package of attributes and functionalities where attributes are the unique features of that object and functionalities describe the nature and working of that object. Like this suitcase which is packed with things. An object is also like a suitcase or a baggage which is packed or rather encapsulated with its own attributes and related functionalities. The third feature is abstraction. OOPS objects are abstract in nature in the sense that they don't reveal themselves about how they are designed to the outside world. Just you can make use of their utilities. Just like how a seed is an abstract existence of a future tree, object is also abstract to the outside or the end users just they can make use of the utilities or the functionalities of the object but we can't uh, access their um, I mean rather get to know about their design <clears throat> the next feature is message passing the communication within an object or um, objects changing their state from one to another all these happenings are because of this feature even one object can pass messages to another object and that is also possible because of this feature called message passing the next feature is inheritance most of the real world concepts are not standalone i guess right it shares or borrows or inherits features or ideas from others so in oops paradigm 2 an object which is some sort of a real world concept may inherit from other objects. How this inheritance happens is explained by this feature. The next feature is polymorphism. Like how all the seven rainbow colors are within the single white light and they appear to the outside world when they are passed through this prism. In the same way an object also has many colors or forms of its own and they can morph into any one of these forms when the suitable situation occurs. This is explained by the feature called polymorphism. So friends, this is a simple general introduction about OOPS. We will be taking up each and every feature of OOPS and uh, we will be discussing in the in one one video in the coming um, videos. So till then, take care and let me join you in the next video. See you soon.